My portfolio this week is valued at over $128,000 and today I'm going to break that down by covering all my different account values like my TFSA and RRSP and we'll also break down any potential dividends I've received as well as any buys, sells, or deposits I've made over the last week. Welcome back to another portfolio update video. I hope you've all had yourselves a fantastic week. If this is your first time here, my name is Kevin at FinTrack Freedom. I'm a 25-year-old long-term investor and this is my Canadian personal finance channel where my ultimate goal is to one day retire early off of my investments. This week, my entire portfolio is currently valued at $128,360.06. Of that $128,000, I have $116,639.67 in my Wealth Simple Trade accounts. And the remainder is in my Wealth Simple Cash account, earning me 5% interest. And in this account, I have $12,355.90. At the time of recording this video, we are sitting at 899 subscribers, uh, which means we did not hit my goal of reaching 1,000 subscribers before the end of this year. But that's okay. It doesn't really matter. I kind of uh, I kind of went, went a little bit flaky with the uploads, so it's kind of my fault. But uh, hey. If we can still hit 1,000 subscribers in 2024, that would be awesome. On top of subscribing, be sure to also leave a like on this video to help with that YouTube algorithm. Let's try and break 40 likes on this video. Checking out the transaction logs for this week, I had a $1,400 deposit from my checking account into my Wealth Simple Cash account, and then I had two transfers of $500 from my Wealth Simple Cash into my FHSA and TFSA. As for the dividends this week, $0 worth of dividends, but last week I did receive $24.92 worth of dividends. Heading over to the TFSA now, it is currently sitting at $40,093.69. And as, uh, <laughs> as you can probably tell here, the last week performance, it says I'm up 3,691%. I can tell you right now, this is very much glitched. So let's check out the last month performance. The last month we were up 6% on the TFSA and the three month we were up 16%. And in the TFSA this week, I just had all of my same reoccurring buys that I've been doing all year long. So $60 into VFV, $25 into VDY, $15 into VCE and VIU and $10 into V. And I'd also like to mention that my TFSA is officially maxed out for the year now until 2024. And if you did not know in 2024, the contribution room is increasing by $7,000, which I'm very excited for. My FHSA is sitting at $6,795.83 this week, and it is down just barely $30, well, $33 on the last week. Checking out the last month, it is up 1%, and it is up 5% on the three month. Something to mention is that I'm recording this on January 30th, and tomorrow I plan on uploading this video. And I also plan on maxing this FHSA out for the year. So I'm going to do a $1,500 deposit into this, which you will see in next week's portfolio update video. Any trade logs for the FHSA, just the reoccurring buy of XEQT, $500 worth. And uh, that's about it. All right, so the RRSP is sitting at $30,742.82. And the last week performance in this account is also glitched. Um, so let's see the last month here, up 4% on the month and up 8% on the three month. And the trades in the RRSP, just the reoccurring buys, so my $70 buy of VOO and $80 buy of SCHD. All right, the last stock account, the non-registered account is at $14,937.36, and this account is barely positive over the last week. And on the month, it is up 2%, and the three month, it is up 8%. And like I've mentioned for the trade logs in the non-registered account, I have been done buying in this account for a long time and I don't know if I will even do any more buys in this account in 2024. So we'll, we'll see about that. All right, the crypto account, this has been an absolute juggernaut for me the last few months. It is sitting at $24,018.89 and on the week it is just about flat. But the last month we're up 16%, the three month we're up 65%, the one year 99% up on this crypto account and checking out the all time performance of the crypto account up 66%. So I, I, I have no words for this <laughs> and I'm yet again still doing all my reoccurring buys in the crypto account. So $40 of Bitcoin, $30 of Ethereum, $10 into Polygon Matic, Chainlink and Polkadot. 
If you're interested in using Wealthsimple, you can sign up using my link in the description or with the code on screen to receive $25 when you open and fund your Wealthsimple account. Again, link in the description there or that code on screen. All right, so back over on my portfolio tracking spreadsheet once again. My portfolio is sitting at $128,352.17. Uh, all of my accounts accumulated, uh, combined are up $8,952.17 and or 7.5%. I wasn't expecting this this year. Um, the, the markets just have been in full rally mode um, right up to the end of the year here, especially cryptocurrency as I scroll down here. Uh, we can see here uh, the TFSA is still down 15%. I did buy a lot in the TFSA in November of 2021 when like everything was at its all-time highs. So that's kind of why this account is struggling a bit. But the RRSP is up 15%. The FHSA is up almost 5% already. The personal account's up 15%. The crypto account's up 66%. Like it's it's been absolutely insanity. And I'm I'm so happy to see that the account is thriving right now. Now, the question is, how long are, are my accounts going to continue thriving? Well, that's yet to be determined. This is the point in the video. If you want to pause and check out all of my individual holdings, you can go ahead and do so as I scroll down here. Again, feel free to pause and check out any of these if you would like. And I will go over, will go over and check out the crypto holdings here. And I would just like to mention my Solana. Up 190%. I think I was up 250% on this. Um, and I'm thinking about taking profits off of this in the new year just so I don't have to pay tax on it next year. Uh, instead, I would rather pay the tax in 2025 since I would be selling this in 2024 if that makes sense. But Solana has been an absolute powerhouse. Even the Bitcoin is up 100%. Cardano is up 100%. Uh, what is this here? Chainlink was at one point up over 100%, which is insane. Um, but <laughs> crypto has just been going parabolic and will it continue or will it fall a bit? We'll see. And something that's a bit of a heartbreaker for Solana with me is that I stopped purchasing Solana, I think December 27th of 2022. So just over a year ago is when I stopped buying Solana and this thing hit like six, seven dollars and now it's trading for 130 to 150 so i really wish i did not stop dollar cost averaging into solana but hey you win some you lose some and uh, i'm just happy that i i do have a, a decent bag worth of solana at the end of the day as for the stocks everything has just been slowly but surely increasing um there is one however amd has been doing really really well i'm up 60 percent on this account on amd and in the tfsa i'm up 43 percent on amd I will probably take profits on AMD once I see the returns hit 100% and just re-diversify that into like the S&P or something like I did with NVIDIA. But uh, yeah, everything, <laughs> everything seems good right now, which concerns me a little bit. Heading over to the dividends tab here, we may or may not get, in, get any more dividends tomorrow before the new year. So if all is said and done and I don't receive any more dividends, these are the total dividend numbers for the year of 2023. So in the TFSA, I will have received $188.32 worth of dividends. And in the month of December, it was $10.06. FHSA, I will not get a dividend payment till January 2024. And the RRSP, I had a total of $138.72 worth of dividends this year. In December, I had $27.01. And in the personal non-registered account, my total dividends for the year was $181.39. And for December, it was $5.10. And finally, the cash uh, interest savings account on Wealthsimple. I got $368.99 worth of interest in 2023. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this week's portfolio update video. Be sure to leave a like if you have made it this far. Again, let's try and break 40 likes for the YouTube algorithm. And be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to help me hit a thousand subscribers. I'm, I'm certain we can do it in 2024. Um, but anyways, thank you all again, and I will see you next time.